everyone, Alexa here from the blog theduvalhomestead.com where I share farm to table recipes and homemade natural living. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about an automatic chicken coop door. I'm gonna show you how we installed this automatic chicken coop door, talk about the chicken guard automatic door, the pros and the cons, and how we like it. wondering why you would have an automatic chicken coop door or maybe you are sure you want one and that's why you stumbled upon this video but if you are a chicken owner you know that chickens go in and out of their coop in the morning and at night with the sun so if the sun is rising at 5 a.m. that means they want to get out of the coop at 5 a.m. similarly if it's setting at 10 p.m. like it is right now in the summertime they are out and about until that late and they don't want to go in until the sun is setting which means for you as a chicken owner you need to be opening and closing that door twice a day and it can get a little bit exhausting waking up at 5 a.m. at least where I live and the sun rises sometimes even at 4 30 the sun is already coming up and we got to the point where we just did not like getting up at 4 30 letting the chickens out and then going back to bed so we have a very small homestead here so I will say this might be different if you have 20, 30, 50, 100 chickens, depending on your setup. But for our small backyard chicken coop operation here, it's perfect because we really don't wanna to have to get out of bed at that time and let the chickens out. Now, previously we had chickens that were very loud and they were making it very known to us and our neighbors that they were ready to be let out. And so it was kind of a problem. So we looked into how to get an automatic chicken coop door. Now, this was a little more complicated than I thought. There were a lot of options on the market. We wanted to make it ourselves, but the engineering behind making an automatic chicken coop door that opens and closes is quite sophisticated. And so you wanna make sure you're buying a door that is built properly and that's going to work because let's talk about what happens if the door doesn't work. If for some reason the door doesn't work and it stays open at night, or perhaps it closes too early and the chickens don't get in, you could lose your birds to predators. It will stress them out. It would just be a really bad situation. Now there's a little bit of controversy around automatic chicken coop doors, whether or not a homesteader should really use them. So you should know that this does not replace you as a chicken owner. You still have to go out and check on your birds. You might be thinking if I get an automatic chicken coop door, then we can just go away for the weekend, right? And the birds will be fine. And while while that might be true, I still wouldn't do it. So we still are taking care of our chickens on the daily basis. It's just giving you a few more hours in the morning and in the evening so you don't have to let them out or close that door. Okay, so let's talk about this door. So this is the chicken guard automatic chicken coop door and the opener device on top. I will leave a link for this coop door that I'm reviewing in the description box below. The pros of this door, it's built very well. We chose the standard opener, which basically opens and closes based on a timer. You can upgrade to get one that opens and closes with the daylight and the sunset. We just wanted to save on money. We like this door because it latches on the bottom so it does lock which makes it predator proof. As you can see, the chickens fit through it just fine. Another pro is that it will shine a red light when the batteries are getting low. So this is battery operated, so there's no wires that have to go out to the coop. We never want to have any electricity running out to the coop because it's a fire hazard. This was very easy to assemble, and I'm gonna show you how we did that. You can very easily change the time, so as the sunrise and sunset changes throughout the year, you can adjust the time that opens and closes. It's super easy, you just press a couple of buttons. Okay, so cons of this door, nothing bad has happened with this door yet. It's been running over seven months, and it's done a really great job, so it certainly works. The only con I would say is that it's expensive, so it is an investment up front. However, we had chickens for a while before we got this door and the amount of sleep saved and the relaxation in the evening just of not having to go out there super late or maybe it's pouring rain and stormy and, or snowy. Just knowing that the door is going to close is worth it in my opinion for that peace of mind. I also liked, and this may not be important to you, but I liked that this was somewhat discreet. We were able to put it on the side of our coop and our coop is very small, we only have four birds. And I was worried a lot of the chicken coop doors I saw were very large and wouldn't fit on our coop. But this one fit just fine. And I also painted white around the edges so that I just made it blend in with the coop more. I like having the coop nice looking so I didn't want anything that was too Big. So I was just surfing on the Chicken Guard website to get some of the stats and saw this video on the homepage and this does a great job of showing the lock feature. And I read through the reviews and it does seem like it's predator proof. I saw one video from somebody showing 
I want to say it was a bobcat or something that was trying to break through the door and couldn't do it. We don't have that many predators. Well, we do have predators in our area, but we are completely, completely fenced in. So this would be a second layer of support for us. So I don't have any experience with predators trying to get in, at least not that I know of, but who knows, maybe they have. So for our chicken coop, we had a door previously on this side of the chicken coop and the dimensions did not fit the chicken guard door. The chicken guard door was smaller than our previous door. So we had to build kind of a little wall and then he cut a square hole to build the, to attach the door to. So that's what we're doing here. And then we just followed the manufacturer's instructions for the chicken coop door, which were super clear. We actually started to install this without reading the instructions, which was not a good idea. You do need to read the instructions first. So as we learned, the key here is to do the one side first, screw it in, make sure the wing is locked here. And then before you do the right side, put the door in and then make sure there's a little bit of a gap on the right so that the door goes up and down. There's a pull on the string for it to pull on the, um... Okay, so it's locked then, right? That's a lock. Yeah. Okay. So this is a silicone seal into the edges around the front panel. Yeah, no nine volt batteries. Install the four AA batteries. There. Attach it. Technically, we're supposed to have put the back part on the coop before we do the top, but we are going in the other direction. Whoa, so you just, you put a board over the whole thing. I see. I had made like a little cut out just for that one space, but I guess it doesn't really matter. And then to actually program this, you just follow the instructions. You basically press the button a couple of times and it will ask you, do you want to program the opening time or the closing time? Like I said before, this one is based on a timer because we chose the cheaper option. But if you want one for the sunlight, they have one available for that too. I think it's about $20 more. So then we got to work screwing the wood platform onto the coop and then the chicken door and then the door opener. And then naturally I didn't like how the wood looked against the white. It definitely doesn't match. And so I went around and painted it white, which worked out really well. I also painted the black prongs on either side of the door white. This was a little bit sketchy because if I wasn't careful, I could be sealing the door shut so it couldn't open and close. So if you do paint this, just be really careful making sure that the door can still go up and down. And then my husband completed the project with some chicken wiring and that was basically how we set up our little backyard chicken coop. It's nice you can just fold it like that. It's very like easy to just use that to go anywhere we need. I mean, it's not secure enough to keep a predator out, but that's not the goal. The goal is just to stop the chickens from going back there and that, that will stop them because they're not gonna push it, you know? If you wanna see more chicken related videos, head on over to my natural chicken keeping playlist. I have how we set up our chicken coop, how we took care of our chicks, how to make fermented chicken feed, and I think a few others too. So let me know in the comments below if you are interested in that. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to install an automatic chicken coop door and know that it is definitely worth it to keep your birds safe, to give you peace of mind and a little extra sleep in the morning. <laughs> if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Every week I post a new video on farm to table recipes and homemade natural living. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duval Homestead.